Hello my dear students, how are you today? Are you okay? I'm okay too, thank you. Welcome to our biology program. It is presented by your lovely teacher, Mr. Darish. My dear students, when you feel tired, unfit, uncomfortable, and other abnormal cases, I advise you to see a doctor in order to remain healthy. My dear students, what observation can you make from this video? Please, let us view it again, my dears. Uh-huh. Who can try, please? Uh-huh. Yes, Fatma. Try, please. Oh, excellent. Can we clap one for Fatma, please? Good. You observed a sick person in the bed. Uh-huh. Let me ask you another simple question. What is the health status of the patient? Who can try, please? Uh-huh. Yes. Good, Ali. Try. Very good. The health status of the patient is very bad. Another question is that, my dears. How can the patient be healthy again? Yes, Rahma. Tell us, please. Wow, fantastic. The patient should have a strong immune system. That's my dears. If our immune system is strong, our body remains healthy forever. This is because the immune system enables our bodies to recognize antigens, cause infections and disease. After the body immune system recognizes the presence of antigen, the antibodies will produce so as to fight against antigens. My dear students, stand up please. Let us do together this action. Because we want to have a good, healthy forever. So let us do an exercise. Okay? Are you ready, my dears? Okay, let's start. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, one. Again, please. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, one. Thank you very much. And thank you a lot. You have a seat. Thank you. And take your seat. Now, my dear students, I want to define the term health. Can you define it, please? Good. Therefore, my dear students and other viewers, the term health can be defined as a complete state of physical, 
mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease. A complete state of physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease. Uh-huh. Can you define the term antigen, please? Yes. Try. Well done. Can be defined as the substances can cause infections and disease. Can be defined as the substances can cause infections and disease. Can you mention two examples of antigens? Uh-huh. Bacteria, goods, and uh, viruses. Good job. Another word is antibodies. Can you try to define this word, please? Nice one. Antibodies can be defined as the blood proteins that fight against invading antigens. Can be defined as the blood proteins that fight against invading antigens. Good. Example of antigen immunoglobulin A and immunoglobulin G. Thank you very much. And the last word is what we call immunity. It's the ability of the body to resist infections and disease. Healthy people. Can you repeat the word please, my dears? Healthy people. Antigens. Say it again, please, my lovely students. Antigens. Goats. Antibodies. Repeat the word, please. Antibodies. Goats. Immunity. Say it again, please. Immunity. Good. My dear students and other viewers, now is the time for looking at the types of immunity. My lovely students, I want to ask you a simple question. How many types of immunity are there? Uh-huh. Can you try please? Yes, Rashid. Wow, I agree with you. We have two types of immunity, which are natural immunity. It is inborn immune system and exists even before the body is exposed to an antigen. mainly during pregnancies and during breastfeeding. Mother's antibodies possess to her or passes to her body, to her babies. And the second type is that artificial immunity. It is induced to a body to produce antigens. 
example, a vaccine. The vaccine causes the body to produce antibodies as it was being attacked by real antigen. Subtypes of natural and artificial immunity. My dear students, both natural and artificial immunity can either be active or passive. Natural active immunity. Natural active immunity. Good, my dears. Natural active immunity is the type of immunity which is present before the body is exposed to an infection or as a result of previous infections. Can we read together this definition please? Natural active immunity is the type of immunity which is present before the body is exposed to an infection or as a result of previous infections. For example, if a person has a wound, antibodies will be produced so as to prevent the wound from getting infected. Another example of natural active immunity is that if a child catches measles, the body of that child will develop an antibodies so as to fight against measles antigen. And also will resist the future attacks of measles antigens. This is because the measles antigen already known by the body immunity. That's why will not get a chance to attack the body again. Are we together, my dears? That's why the scientists believe that those people have got cure from corona infections will be difficult to them to get a corona infections for once again. Natural perceived immunity. This is another type of natural immunity. Can you repeat the word please? Natural perceived immunity. Oh, good. Can you define the term please? Yes, Rahma. Try please. Wonderful. You tried the best. Can we clap three factorials for Rahma, please? Therefore, my dear students, the term natural perceived immunity is the type of immunity by which a baby has got from her or his mother during pregnancies and breastfeeding. Therefore, my dear students, the term natural passive immunity is the type of immunity by which a baby has got from her or his mother during pregnancy and breastfeeding. My dear students and other viewers, here we see that it is very important to breastfeed her baby than we think. Thus, let us breastfeed our babies for two years will be enough to them. Now, my dear student, I want to ask you a simple question. What will be the healthy status of the baby that did not get a breastfeed from her or his mother? Okay? Think, please. Deeply. Uh-huh. Think, my dears. Think. Now, 
you may ask your fellow what he or she think. Mm-hmm. Now, tell me please. The healthy status of that baby will be poor and that's why we'll suffer from different kinds of disease frequently. Thus, I am advising you to breastfeed our baby. Now is a time for artificial active immunity. Watch this video please, my dears, and observe carefully for each you will see. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you have observed, please. Yes, Haula. Can, can you tell me, please? Brilliant. A doctor vaccine to a baby by injection. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me the importance of doing this? Yes. The reason behind is that to enable the baby to produce antigen if it was being attacked by real antigen. Can you mention three examples of disease which being controlled well through vaccination? Uh-huh. Polio. Good. Mm -hmm. Another one. Tuberculosis. Good. And the last one is yellow fever. Thank you very much and thank you a lot, my dears. Thus, artificial active immunity is a type of immunity which is acquired through vaccination. Let's say again, my dears, artificial active immunity is a type of immunity which is acquired through vaccination. Thank you. Let us proceed. The last type that we call artificial passive immunity. Let's say again, my dears, artificial passive immunity. What do you understand by this term, artificial passive immunity? Tell me, please. Be free, my dears. Uh-huh. I'm parallel with you, my dears. Thus, artificial immunity is a type of immunity that is acquired when antibodies produced by one individual and are injected to the second individual. Let us take an example. Imagine there is a new cases rises. I mean, new disease rises in our societies and attack and kills a lot of people. So the scientists may take the screened blood of the cured person to the infected person so as to assist the immune system in order to gauge a cure. This practice is mainly in treating corona disease in some countries like America and China. My dear students, stand up please. Please stand up and let us do together a wonderful action. Yes, ready? I want to know, I want to know. What is that, what is that? I want to know, I want to know. What is that, what is that? The meaning of healthy. Good, thank you a lot. I want to know, I want to know. What is that, what is that? I want to know, I want to know. What is that, what is that? How many types 
of immunity. Wonderful. I want to know, I want to know. What is that, what is that? I want to know, I want to know. What is that, what is that? How does the immune system help our body to be healthy? Good trying. I want to know, I want to know. What is that, what is that? I want to know, I want to know. What is that, what is that? The benefit of breastfeeding to her, to our babies. Wonderful. I want to know, I want to know. What is that, what is that? I want to know, I want to know. What is that, what is that? Why vaccination is very important to our bodies. Good trying, my dears. Thank you very much and thank you a lot. You have a seat. My dear students and other viewers, thank you very much and thank you a lot. I have nothing to say except thank you, my dears. So, before ending, let us take a homework as our task. With example, differentiate between of the following terms as used in healthy and immunity topic. A. Antibodies from antigen. Antibodies from antigen. B. Natural immunity from artificial immunity. Natural immunity from artificial immunity. The second question is explain what will happen if our immune system will fail to perform well. I'm repeating. Explain what will happen if our immune system will fail to perform well. Another question, which will be the third one, which is matching item. Here you see, we have a matching item question. We have the item possessed or found in list A, as well we have the items in list B. So we will find the item of the list A which is corresponding to the item of the list B. We will match. So here we match the item of list A and the item of the list B. Let's start with the list A item. A. Artificial passive immunity. Artificial passive immunity. Antibodies. Antibodies. Health. Health, natural immunity, natural immunity, 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 antigen, 
antigen, vaccination, vaccination, breast fading, breast fading, types of immunity, types of immunity and the last one is polio polio my dears these all are the items found in the list a so now let us go to the items in list b I'm starting. Two. Two. Control the through vaccination. Control the through vaccination. Fight against infections. Fight against infections. Example of natural passive immunity. Example of natural passive immunity. Antibodies produced by someone then transferred to another person. Antibodies produced by someone then transferred to another person is the physical mental and social well-being fit is the physical mental and social well-being fit artificial active immunity Artificial active immunity. Capability of a body to resist infections and disease. Capability of a body to resist infections and disease. Bacteria. Bacteria. And the last item in list B is that inborn immunity. Inborn immunity. My dears and other viewers, these are some questions for you. Please, please, my dears, make sure that you perform well. Are we together? Thank you very much, my dears. Thank you a lot. Up to here, it is my hope that you have enjoyed a lot our lesson. And we will be together in the next lesson.